Good morning, everybody. I've never been awake so early, but welcome back to my channel where we talk about skincare, grooming, and sometimes hair care, so that sounds like your thing. Make sure you are subscribed. The reason I look like this is because I just woke up, but I have an event, I have a brunch time event that I'm going to today, and I thought now would be the perfect time to do a get ready with me video. But first things first, but let's get ready. I'm not going to shower this morning. I'm going to have a bath. I like to relax my way into getting ready. Of course, the shower or bath is where my skincare routine really starts. But there are a few things to consider about your skincare routine before going out. For me, exfoliation, hair removal, and shaving are a big no on days that I'm going out for an event or meal or whatever. Just because of my skin, it can actually get quite irritated when I do any of these. And even if you don't have quite sensitive skin like me, exfoliation can still make your skin look a little a bit inflamed. So it's usually best to do anything that could potentially irritate your skin, like shaving, like plucking, like exfoliation the night before. But of course I'm going to cleanse and I will always opt for a gel cleanser. They tend to be a lot more gentler on the skin, they don't compromise your skin barrier, especially when it's cold outside like today. You want to keep as much moisture in your skin as possible to keep it looking its best. Straight out of the shower, I obviously apply deodorant. Then today I'm gonna to use a toner, I'm gonna to use an essence, I'm gonna avoid a serum today. And I'm gonna use these under eye patches because to be honest with you guys, I've been really into The Walking Dead recently. And I've been staying up so late watching the series. I've gone through like five seasons in a week and it's starting to actually make me look like The Walking Dead. So these under eye patches are gonna give a bit more of an awakening boost um, under my eyes. So while these are on doing their job, now is about the time I usually spray a fragrance. Now, fragrance is obviously something you really need to think about before going out. For me, it's important to think about your location, how many people are gonna be there, um, and how close you're gonna be to them. I know that sounds really weird, but in my case, I'm first of all going to a blogger event. So the likelihood that everybody in that room has been gifted their fragrance and they're probably going to be wearing very similar fragrances is something I need to take into consideration. This means it's usually these events are held in one room and there's going to be a lot of people so I don't want to wear something that's overpowering and that's going to mix with everybody else's fragrances. So I like to opt for a very very subtle fragrance. This one in particular is Molecule and I love this fragrance because it's very very light. It's got clean fresh smell to it. It's one of those fragrances that kind of linger on your skin so every so often you'll smell it and people really only in close proximity can smell it and it's not an obvious fragrance so for me it's a good fragrance. And I sprayed quite early on because I want it to settle on my skin. It's time for the hair and today's outfit is going to be that kind of smart casual look. Smart casual. So I want a hairstyle that's tidy but also stylish and I have my one go-to hairstyle that I've worked out that suits me relatively well and I'm just going to stick to that. It's a hairstyle with a lot of volume and texture. So the most important product here is a sea salt spray. I'm using Law Originals Texture and Wave. You only have to use the tiniest amount and it gives you really, really good hold and really, really good texture. So I'm going to spray that in, brush it through, and then we're going to go in with a hairdryer on a medium heat setting, medium speed, and just flip between my brush and my fingers to give me ultimate height and texture. To style my hair, I'm going to be using a product I picked up in Japan by Lips, I believe the brand is. This product is a nice hybrid of kind of a clay um, and a paste, which is going to work with texture, giving me a natural gloss and a good hold without looking rigid. Once that's in place today, I do not want it to move. The weather outside is horrible, it's windy, and I want to lock my hair in place for the majority of the day. So I'm gonna be using the hairspray that I've used since the age of 14, and that is Tresemme's Freeze Hold Hairspray. Spray that, your hair isn't gonna move. So it's time to take off these and finish up our skincare routine, but we're gonna wash our hands before we do anything else. Ooh. Oh, it's really brightened up under the eye, so I'm happy with that. So next step is the moisturizer. I'm gonna be in a hot room today. There's gonna be a lot of bodies, a lot of heat, and it's winter, so the venue's probably gonna have their heating on. These are all things I like to think about when I'm doing my skincare routine. But it's winter, I want a nice, nourishing, hydrating moisturizer um, without feeling too greasy. Um, so I'm gonna be using Neogen's uh, Vita Duo Cream. I'm gonna be using the Joan Day Cream. This is, of course, a collaboration with Joan Kim. The day cream in this is nice and thick. 
without being too heavy, especially for some with oily skin. A little bit goes a long, long way as well. And it contains green tea and a few other ingredients that's great for easy, irritated skin. So now my skin is nice and hydrated, but my oily skin isn't going to start acting crazy throughout the rest of the day. Then, of course, we have our sunscreen. I'm going to be using something slightly mattifying because, as I said, I'm going to be in a hot room um, with a lot of bodies. And, of course, with oily skin, my skin tends to react quite badly in humid and hot situations. So, yes, this is very slightly mattifying, um, but it's not going to overdry my skin. You'll see that this goes on with a little bit of a white cast, but that is going to settle on your skin within about, like, five to ten minutes. And what's great about this sunscreen is it has kind of like little reflective um, prism-y bits in it. So it does make your skin look dewy and glowy and kind of um, reflects any of that kind of um, uneven skin tone away. And as always, I have a different SPF for my neck and my body, so I'll use that. So there's a few extra steps I like to take when getting ready that aren't for everyone. The first step, sorting out my eyebrows. They're a little bit bushy. They can always do with a little bit of extra help. So I pretty religiously now use Glossier Boy Brow. This is a black eyebrow gel. You can get them in so many different colors, but all this does is help tame your eyebrows and shape them ever so slightly. The technique I like to use is to go backwards in your eyebrows with the spoolie, I think it's called, go up and brush them out. Then I like my eyebrows to look a little bit bushier at the front, like so. Then I repeat on the other eyebrow. The next step is one that maybe not everyone's going to want to take, but it's to do with our lips. Obviously, our mouth is what we talk with, and when you're at an event, I think it's important to, for your lips to look good and healthy, and especially with it being winter, I need a little bit more colour and a little bit something going on with my lips. So obviously I like to apply a lip balm. This is like just a basic that everyone should do to keep our lips nice and soft and moisturized. But sometimes I like to go one step further. In winter, I do like this kind of like, <laughs> it's gonna sound really stupid, but like this kind of more darker kind of feel to my look. And I like this kind of like, um, vampire lip it's called the just bitten lip um, or the gradient lip and usually what people do is they would um, pale out their lips and then do like a color in the middle but I like to keep, keep my lips my normal color then just add a tiny bit of depth to my lips with a tinted lip balm in the middle this kind of as the name suggests makes it look like your lips have just been a little bit bitten maybe even bleeding a little bit but it just gives a bit of a punch to your face you want to take your tinted lip balm and apply it just into the more insides of your lips. I like to over apply this to begin with. Make sure that I rub my lips together to kind of like smush it in. Then take a bit of toilet roll and then just kind of blot off the excess with this. And then you're left with something that I personally think is quite subtle, um, but just gives your face a little bit of an extra like, ooh, you know? Next up is the outfit, and here we are in front of my not very organized wardrobe. Tonight's dress code is smart casual, which in my seven years of styling when I lived in London was a term that always infuriated me. It's like saying hard soft or black white. They're two completely different things, but generally what this means is a smart pair of shoes, jeans, a smart shirt, and then a casual or smart jacket. I'm not gonna be wearing jeans. I'm gonna be wearing these navy pinstripe trousers. They look smart. They're super comfortable. For a bit more of a formal touch, I'm gonna to be wearing this floral shirt. Um, I always find pattern shirts always add a lot more personality to an outfit. You could wear a classic white shirt, but why when everyone else is gonna be wearing one? And pattern shirts add that casual to smart casual. A leather jacket is also my go-to jacket for events and smart casual dress code. It's casual because it's a leather jacket, but then leather jackets have that classic cut to them of the collar shorter in the body and usually a lot more tapered as well. So whilst they are seen as like a casual jacket, they have that formal cut to them. And also I need pockets tonight, so I wanna wear a leather jacket. Creepers are my go-to shoe, because first of all, they add some height to me as well. I'm six foot, but I always wanna be that little bit taller. They complement the leather jacket and they're super comfortable as well. Now, obviously these shoes aren't everyone's style, but they are a fashion statement and a talking point. And you have to remember that if you're going to an event or if you're just going out, every occasion is an opportunity to network, get your name out there, make new friends, and what's better than showing your own unique personality through the way you dress? Again, I could wear Chelsea boots, I could wear classic black brogues, but everyone is going to be wearing those. So let's stand out and show our personality a bit more. And that is it, I'm ready to go. There's one more thing I do before I leave, and that's kind of that like last fragrance spray, where you just spray in directly everywhere for some reason before you leave. 
but then I'm good to go. Hope you enjoy that guys. Check out my other videos if you want more tips on skincare, grooming, all that kind of stuff. But that is it for me now guys. I will see you next time.